before we dive into the tutorial, let me share a quick overview of what a Proxmox cluster is. Proxmox cluster is a group of interconnected Proxmox nodes that work together to distribute and manage virtual machine seamlessly. It can be for the virtual machines or it can be for the LXC containers. This clustering technology ensures redundancy, fault tolerance, and resource optimization. In this video, we'll be creating the Proxmox cluster. You need to have minimum two nodes to join. I have installed Proxmox on Zima board and then I have installed Proxmox on Zima Blade. Now I'll be joining both together to create a cluster. So let's begin the tutorial now. So here you can see that I have 192.168.100.2 as my one server and another server. I'll be opening 192.168.100.3 and column 8006. These both servers are running Proxmox virtualization environment 8.1.3. And here, if I show you the nodes, this is Zima board, this is Zima blade. Let me show you here the summary of these servers. Let me show you the dashboard. Here on dashboard, you can see Zima board has four CPUs, four cores, and Zima blade has two cores. And here you can see 8 GB of RAM, here also 8 GB of RAM. Here, 208 GB of the storage is there. Here, 86 GB of storage is there. Here, if I go to cluster, in this particular node, I'll create the cluster. I'll give a cluster name, Syncprix. So here you can see that VMBR0 will be used and I'll create this. Cluster is created right now and it is ready to accept the connection now. Now this cluster has been created and you can see here its ID is one, votes is one and link is 192.168.100.2. And this is the join information. I need to copy this information to join with this particular server. Copy information. And I'll be going back to the other server. I'll join the cluster. Paste the information here. And here you can see the password, root password I'll be entering. Link is 192.168.100.2. This is the link of this particular server. I'm on server number three right now. And join Syncprix. All right, now you can see here that the second node has started appearing here. All right, so here are both the PVEs, uh, PVE1 and PVE2. And if I show you the details here, I can go here to the data center and summary. In summary, you can see here that two nodes are online. If I go down here, I can see here PVE and PVE2. These are both the IP addresses, CPU usage and the memory usage is here and uptime is also shown here. And this data center is consisting of these two servers. These two physical servers are on the same network. Let me open Putty for this purpose and I'll show you side by side for both. And I'll enter the user ID and password. And this is on this side and I'll be opening another one here. And these are both the servers here. You can see side by side. To check the status of clustering, I can use the command PVE, which is for Proxmox virtual environment and cluster management is CM. And this is the command. And with this command, we can check the status. I can see the status here and I can see nodes also. Node details is here. And I can also check here PVE, CM and nodes. Two nodes over here. Let me clear here PVE nodes. And here, let me just clear this and PVE nodes. So both the nodes are available here for this PVE is local and for this PVE2 is local. And similarly, you can see PVE CM and this will be status. And here also PVE CM and status. Time and date must be synchronized. If the time and date is not matching in both the servers, you won't be able to create the cluster. Right now I have connected only two nodes. So you can connect any number of nodes to make sure that you can do the migration of VMs or containers. So you can run the shell command here directly from any of the IP addresses. You can access both the servers here. If I show you side by side, both the machines are exactly the same. Let's move to the next lecture and see how we can do the migration on real time.